Well, thanks for joining us. And I've got uh, Liam Gibbs here with me today at uh, the training centre. And we're going to have a chat about his rise to uh, the first team. Uh, and it's been quite a short period of time, isn't it, Liam, in terms of your rise? Did you expect it to be so quick? You signed for Norwich um, only a year or so ago. And now you're in the first team and, and, and playing really well. Yeah, I mean, I didn't expect it to be this quick. I thought I'd come here and sort of settle in for a season and then sort of really try and kick on. But I sort of hit the ground running as I come in. I mean, I got quite fortunate that it was a small squad and I think the change of manager definitely helped because then everyone was fresh, everyone was on a new new page, the manager comes in, he doesn't really know other people, so I, I've gone from being the new one to everyone's new, mm. so I, was, I feel like I was quite lucky there and then I thought this is my opportunity to really impress and hopefully, well like I did, I kicked on from there really. You've certainly done that, I mean it's traditionally it's quite difficult for youngsters to break into first teams now, do you think the fact that Norwich dropped out of the Premier League into the Championship helped your cause? To, to get into the first team so so quick. You obviously had a, a good pre-season as well to impress Dean Smith. Yeah, I think it definitely helps because, I mean, to play in the Premier League is it's obviously a massive, massive step compared to the Championship, but equally it's just as tough a league. It's like got 42, like loads of games. Mm. You're playing, playing all the time, Tuesday, Saturdays. We've got so many games coming up. So I think having a big squad and a lot of games has definitely helped me to be able to be in and around it. And I think... Having a good pre-season, like you said, definitely, definitely yeah. helps. And how have you found it in the first-team environment? It's very different to under 23s football, under-18s football. How have the lads kind of taken you under their wing within within that group? Yeah, I think like the senior lads have been great. Really, they're really good at that sort of thing. Like the skipper, Gibbo, they're they're really good at sort of bringing you in and just teaching you the basics, the do's, the don'ts, and just really getting you. But what they're like on the pitch, it. that's a difference. They're all nice to you out here on the training field. As soon as you get out on a match day, it's very different, isn't it? They'll look after you, but also they don't take any prisoners, do they? If you're, if you're not doing what you need to do or should be doing, they'll, they'll soon tell you. Yeah, yeah, they definitely will. But I feel like I haven't done much wrong yet. So hopefully I'm, I'm still yet to see that side of them. But I'm sure they'll, they'll be telling me if I'm not doing something right or, or whatever. But they're, they are full of praise. They know when to praise you and know when to, when to tell you, look, you need to step your game up. But yeah. Yeah, they are very good at that side of it. And you've been playing CDM at the moment, which is, you, you know how to play a position. Clearly, you've got a real, in my opinion, you've got a real calmness about you on the pitch in terms of someone who's so young. You know, you look to, you said you were number 10 when you were at Ipswich, and we'll talk about that in a little while. But, you know, you've got that ability to be able to want to play forward every single time. Has that come from playing as a 10 as well? No, what you yeah. want as a 10, you want your CDM to turn and give you the ball? I think so. I think when I played as a 10, my whole frustration came. I haven't touched it, I haven't touched it. He needs to play forward. So now I'm playing slightly deeper. It's a bit like, I know what they want. They want the ball off the centre-back turn, fire it in forward. That's what, that's what they want as a number 10. So I think it's definitely helped me play this, this position. But like I said, I'm still learning it. There's different positioning and stuff that I'm still trying to learn. And I think I'm getting there. The more I play it, the more I'm getting used to it. But yeah, hopefully it's just the a learning process for me. But the good thing is well, it gives you more strings to your bow in terms of your performances to be able to play in, in various positions. But So the Norwich fans, I guess, can expect to see you wanting to get forward a bit more. Once you find your feet in, in, in the first team on a regular basis, you know, you're know you used to playing as a 10 and creating things and scoring goals. I assume that's something you want to do more of as well, is be able to get forward. Yeah, I mean, I love creating. I've, I've always been what I like to call a creative player. I like creating opportunities. I love getting assists. I, used to score goals as well, but I only actually scored one goal for Norwich. That was pre-season against Cambridge. But um, yeah, I think as I progress and move forward, I think I can see myself going a little bit higher and hopefully trying to help the team create. But at the moment, I'm doing really well at linking between the defence and midfield, so hopefully I keep that going. And, and what is your ambition now? Obviously, as a player, you, you know, you realise as a youngster, this is the beginning, really. You've not made it now. You know, you've got into your yeah. opportunity in the first team, but now is where actually you've got to produce week in, week out. And it's ruthless, isn't it? Because yeah. you can soon be left out of the team with such a big squad. Yeah, I think I'm far from made it. I think I get told all the time. My dad's always there telling me, you need to keep going, keep going. You've never made it. You've always got, got to keep working hard. So I think my next step is to try and be a regular starter for the team. Like I've made my first start in the league. Mm. I think now I need to try and cement that position really and make make that position mine and try and get to be one of the first names on the team sheet because me and Shaky were talking the other day and saying when I first came in it was a bit like I was happy to be there yeah. I was happy to be the first team which I was but now I'm I want to help the team I want to mm. want to be playing week in week out so that's 
that's what I'm striving to do. Yeah, and, and you've mentioned your dad there. Well, now we, we've got to talk about your background and, and where you've come from to, to Norwich. And as people may well know, you were at Ipswich Town for the eight years it's through the youth system. Yeah. Um, your dad's an Ipswich supporter. Um, yeah. You regularly go and watch their games. You had about battles with Norwich in the youth team, and that was about smashing Norwich, wasn't it? Beating up yeah. Norwich, and, and that was yeah. the biggest game of the season. Now you put on the yellow jersey. How, I mean, how's that been? It's, it was definitely weird, weird to start, and I think it's definitely weird for my dad at the start. I remember the signing photos that I had made, made my dad hold a shirt, and then <laughs> it got put on the news, all his mates messaging him saying, why are you holding a Norwich shirt? But that no, is good. He's always been supportive of my career and what's best for me and my career. So it's definitely, I've got his support in, in what I'm doing, but I think it's definitely, over time, it's got a lot easier. Putting on the Norwich shirt, I love putting on the shirt now. Playing in front of the fans, it's definitely, what I want to do when I played at the weekend, listening to the noise, it was like, yeah. okay, I, I know that I should be here. Yeah. Well, emotions aside, you know, at the end of the day, you'll always have a, a soft spot for Ipswich because you were of there course, was a long time and they added yeah. to, to produce the player you are today. But I mean, when you look around here in terms of the facilities at the moment, there's probably no comparison from, from Ipswich to Norwich, is there? You know, when you joined Norwich, you're a Premier League team, Ipswich are in League One. So as a, as a professional and what you want to do in terms of your job, it was always a, an easy, probably easy decision to make to come here. Yeah, like, like you said, I've always got that soft spot for it, which because I was with them since I was a boy and it was my childhood club. But yeah, like you say, I've I've come here now. The facilities are amazing. Like I've, I've got whatever I want just at my doorstep. Really, I can come and use them whenever I want. It's always room to improve here and. I feel like that I'm doing that. So. And how are your pals? Because they must be Ipswich fans as well, and they from school school days. Yeah. Getting a stick from them. Things they can't when they're in League One, can they? Can they give you much <laughs> stick at the moment? I, I mean, mean, they're getting closer. To yeah, be fair, aren't they? They are. They always they always try, but to be honest, they're they're just as supportive of me as as like my dad would be. So as long as I'm doing well, then then they're okay. But there's always always the banter that goes yeah. on. But and do you always look out for their result as well? Ipswich's results. See how they're doing at the weekends. I mean, I occasionally I do but it's more to do with like see how my mates have got on see if they've they've played but I'm not really I wouldn't say I'm an Ipswich fan but I was obviously invested in the club when yeah. I, while I was there yeah, yeah. But, but as a look, as a as a player and you knew for the youth team Ipswich those those derby games were massive as much as Norwich yeah. fans probably like the fact that Ipswich have been languishing in league one for a while actually I miss those derbies as a fan and as a player yeah. you miss miss that too so actually to see them come up into the championship you'd You'd hopefully, you know, those derbies would come back, and what would it feel like putting on an orange shirt against your your old muckers? I, I think it would be brilliant. I think I'd love to do it. Definitely have the fans at Carrow Road behind me against Ipswich. I think it'd be amazing. That's sort of like what I'd want to do. It's like a dream match. That would be Ipswich versus Norwich, playing for Norwich at Carrow Road against Ipswich, who I'd been at. It'd, it'd be brilliant, I think. Yeah, and, and looking at the facilities we've got here now, we're now walking around. Just walk around one of the main pitches here at. At, uh, the training grounds and the facilities we've got in terms of the gym and, and all the, the, the setup for those younger lads. I mean, it's a very different environment from where you probably have come from. I mean, you know, what do you make of all this? And they're, they're building, extending at the moment, aren't they, in terms of yeah. hydro pools and things like that as well? So it's a, it's a brilliant setup. Yeah, I mean, so I started off with the 23s in, in their gym. And if you, if you looked in the 23s gym. So the 23s have got a separate gym to the first team? They have a separate team. gym oh, okay. to the first team, but it's all joined together at the same time. So you can go in, in and out of both. but. I mean, the 23 gym gym's amazing. You've got everything you need in there. Then when you go into the first team gym, it's like, oh my God, there's actually more. Yeah, so it is crazy. But I mean, the level of support you get from the number of staff, just the facilities that you have to use, is, it's amazing. As a player now, like you, you spoke really well about it. It's not about Ipswich and Norwich. It's about you as a player and yeah. your development and how high you can push yourself as a professional footballer. Yeah, because I always look at the pathway for me as, a, as an individual and I felt like I got to a point at Ipswich where I may not have been able to go as far as I wanted to go. So I felt like it was time to move on and I looked at the pathway here at Norwich for me and I felt like I could push my way into the first team and I've managed to do that. So hopefully I can keep keep pushing forward. And did you did you understand it when you came here that Norwich has got a rich history of youngsters getting into the first team? You know, I, I was one of them as, a, as an 18 year old. Did you, did you, is that part of your thinking when you joined here to see how many lads have made that progression? 100%, when, when I was making my decision that was sort of the biggest draw in fact for me was Norwich is a club that they bring through youth, they bring through young players and that's what they do to succeed. So hopefully I could have been one of them to, to do that and luckily I've made 
made my debut. And as a, even as a youngster, even now as a 19-year-old, just breaking into the first team, what are your ambitions as a professional footballer? I think I probably know the answer to this, but well, you know. Yeah, I want to be the best player that I can be. I want to play for England. I want to want to play in the Premier League. I want to win trophies. I want to I want to win. That's what I want to do. So, hopefully, I can get in the team, help the team, and try and win football matches. Well, you certainly had a decent start. So, thanks for your time today. Thank and you. Best rest of the season. Cheers. Thank you.